Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through a brief overview and sample use case of our new Click Lineage Connectors. Click Lineage Connectors is a new offering that provides lineage related insights for ClickView, ClickSense Client Managed, and other on premise BI applications and data sources, such as Tableau, Power BI, Oracle, Azure SQL, and Snowflake. It also offers a visual data lineage capability integrated with ClickSense SaaS, allowing you to see the complete history of those assets without having to access multiple systems, providing a better understanding of the origin, evolution, and meaning of each data set. Let me walk you through a brief scenario where I am considering migrating my Windows on-premise ClickSense client managed environment over to ClickSense SaaS. But before I do so, I want to perform some investigation on my existing on-premise ClickSense client managed environment and create sort of an inventory of what apps and data sources are available and how they all work with one another. Click Lineage Connectors will be able to help me do this. Please note that full installation and setup instructions for Click Lineage Connectors are available on the Click Help YouTube channel. I will just briefly provide an overview of the environment. Let's get started. Okay, so in order to give you an understanding of what Click Lineage Connectors does behind the scenes, we're going to start from the bottom and then work our way up. So Click Lineage Connectors is an application that you install on a server, and it runs in the background as a service, and it has a listener that allows you to access the web-based console, as you can see up here. And then when you log in, there's a number of different configuration settings. So let's log in and see the console. So the Click Lineage Connector console has a number of different menu items. And these menu items consist of different configuration settings. These settings are linked to different projects. As you can see, I have three projects already created. Now you can activate a project and select from the different settings. For this video, we're going to use the ClickSense SaaS migration project, which has already been activated. You can also select it from the drop-down list. Now, this project has a connector, which has been set up already for the ClickSense client managed interface. However, if I click new connector, you can see the other connectors available to connect to these systems and scrape that lineage information from either the data sets or the apps. And that can include ClickView, ClickSense Client Manage, Click Endprinting, Power BI, Tableau, Snowflake, Azure, SQL Server, SQL Server Integration Services, and Oracle at the time of the recording of this video. We'll go back to connectors in a moment. Now, the QCS target we also have set up already. This is the location of where the links are stored once the lineage information is created and how it's accessed through a viewable link. So when the process runs, it puts a link in the Click Cloud tenant of your choice, and then you access it from that space. We're going to talk about that in a moment. And then there's the scheduler that allows you to kick off the job. So let's connect some of the dots. First, I'm going to minimize this, and we're going to go to our Click Cloud tenant. Now, as mentioned, the Click Cloud tenant that I'm using here and click lineage connectors have already been connected to each other. And there's a setup process for that, and that's covered in another video. What I want to do is navigate to the catalog, and I want to create a new space. So I click Add Space, and it must be of a managed space. And the name of the space is going to be Lineage On-Premise Migration Content. So when I run those jobs later, the links that are contained to those apps from those systems will be presented here, as well as the ability to look at the lineage information. Okay, so let's go back to the Click Lineage Connector console. So now I'm gonna go back to my QCS target, click Edit, and see where it says space name. Now we have our lineage on-premise migration content. That's is the name of the space that I created a moment ago. We click Validate. And this shows the connection between those two systems and we click update. So now that we have our target for our links set up and we have our project and we have our connector, I'm going to edit this connector and we're going to create a rule. 
And all a rule basically does is tells the system what to scrape, what to take out, what apps, what streams to go into, etc. Now your rule type is going to be different per connector. In this case, we're just selecting ClickSense application rule. We'll just give it a name. We'll just call it rule number one, optional description. Now the streams, let's minimize. And now let's go to the app that we want to investigate. In this case, I have my retro gaming collection analysis app. This is on my client managed environment. This is the hub of the ClickSense Enterprise Client Managed Environment. And you can see we have a stream called Retro Gaming. And you can see we have two preparation apps as well as the main analysis app. So I'm just using this as a simple example with one stream. You can use multiple streams to investigate all of the apps in these systems. So now going back to the rule, I'm just going to type in retro gaming and that's the stream that we want to look at. And then we're not going to put any application IDs or exclude. We just want all the apps that are there. Now create link and click cloud. This will allow us to see the actual app from click cloud if we wanted to. And it'll also allow us to view the um, data lineage information. So we save the rule and then we're going to go to the scheduler. And we're going to kick this off by clicking on the play button. Now this could be scheduled from a job on a particular schedule that you choose. But in this case, I'm not setting up any of those. I'm just going to run the job. Okay. So the job has run successfully. I'm going to minimize and we're going to go to our click cloud tenant. And you can see we have these object boxes, which are links to the external app. So once again, just clicking that to show you the app I showed a moment ago is now linked from my click cloud tenant. And there it is. And now I can run data lineage or impact analysis off of these. So as I mentioned, we had two data prep apps and we also had our analysis app. Let's just start from the beginning and look at get data from price charting by selecting this menu option and clicking impact analysis. It shows us that we have get data from price charting and it creates a CSV file. Now at any time I can click one of these to open a link or view impact analysis or data lineage on this particular data object. So let's click impact analysis on price chart data CSV. So we know that the data prep app called get data from price charting now creates a CSV file. Now, when we click the impact analysis on the CSV, not only do we see the get data from price charting creating the CSV, but we can see that that CSV is also feeding into the retro game data loader prep app, and that produces price data QVD. So I can continue this process by opening up the app or looking at impact analysis on any of these items. Let's select the data loader. And now we can see that the data loader has two inputs as feeds in this case here, price chart data CSV and video game inventory. So we just identified three different data assets, a CSV file produced by the price charting app, as well as a uh, inventory Excel file feeding into the retro game data loader app, and then ultimately producing a QVD. And then we can see that there is a loop here that this QVD feeds back into the retro gaming data loader. And I know this for a fact, because I created this, this basically is an incremental uh, data load that looks at the QVD, gets the latest updates, and then rewrites the QVD as needed. And then if we impact analysis, the price data QVD, we can see that that QVD file, not only as mentioned, used by the Retro Gaming Data Loader app, but it's also used by the Retro Collection Analysis app, which we can select, open a link. In this case, we can also select Impact Analysis, and then we can see the full lineage for this app using Price Data QVD and Video Game Inventory XLS. Okay, so that's all I wanted to share. I hope. 
This video demystifies click lineage connectors a bit and helps you understand its importance. What I showed you for ClickSense Client Managed would be similar for the other connectors and environments, however, just using specific connection data and app settings. Please visit our other Click Lineage Connector resources on the Click Help YouTube channel to learn more. Thanks for your time, guys. Take care.